What's up guys, Tommy H here, and welcome back to another discussion video regarding the Velociraptors in Jurassic World 3. But mainly, I want to focus on the roles and behaviors of the raptors in the Jurassic Park trilogy and the Jurassic World trilogy. From 1993 all the way to 2001, the raptors were built up as these very dangerous, very intelligent dinosaurs. And despite the fact that these raptors were held in captivity, they had the ability to outsmart the human beings that held authority over them. One of the most well known Velociraptor scenes in the entire Jurassic Park franchise was this one right here. Robert Muldoon, a highly intelligent character, was hunting the raptors down in the jungle. One of the raptors essentially played possum, standing out in the open, allowing Robert to get a good shot. As Robert got a clear target and began to aim, the big one came out of nowhere and killed him off. So pretty much all those years of research and information on the raptors did not help him out. As soon as you enter a jungle with the velociraptors around, you are pretty much dead meat. That is their territory and nobody can take that away from them. This whole idea of raptors being the king of the jungle also was showcased in Jurassic Park 3. Despite anything our main characters did or said, the velociraptors always ended up on top, tricking them and almost killing them off multiple times. That velociraptor pack in my opinion was the most intelligent one in the entire Jurassic Park series. We then moved on to Jurassic World where the level of intelligence was located in different areas. We got to see what happens when a human being raises a velociraptor pack from birth and has complete control over them. They are far more reasonable and they do understand human emotion to a deeper extent. These raptors in the jungle ran alongside Owen on a motorcycle, pretty much not giving him any attention. There was no desire from the raptors to kill Owen off, even though back in Jurassic Park and Jurassic Park 3, running alongside a vulnerable human being was pretty much a gift. So based off that fact, the question I have now is, is it now a necessity for the raptors to have a relationship with the human beings? And in this franchise, is that the true fate of these dinosaurs? In Fallen Kingdom, is Blue gonna lay eggs and then those velociraptors grow up under human ownership, and then they too formulate a bond with a human being. In my opinion, the case with Blue and Owen is very special and very unique. They began to form a bond since the day Blue was born, and they went through so much in Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom to reach the level they're at now. I do not believe there will be another character like Owen Grady, and I also don't think there will be another Velociraptor like Blue. So if that is the case in Jurassic World 3, I think it's time to go back to our normal ways. And that normal way consists of very dangerous and very intelligent Velociraptors. No more human being and Velociraptor bonds, let's go back to the way it was in Jurassic Park, The Lost World, and Jurassic Park 3. They were pack hunters who always stuck together, and very often they would go toe to toe with mankind. Also, seeing as there will be no hybrids in Jurassic World 3, this would be a perfect time to kind of eliminate the whole idea of raptors and human beings getting along. It is not realistic and as I said before, the connection between Owen Grady and Blue is a very special case. So write your opinions on this topic down below. Would you guys want to see the old school Velociraptors return in Jurassic World 3, or would you rather see more human Velociraptor connections in this film? Write this all down below, and if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.